these animals all have single-celled algae that live in their tissues. They're called zooxanthellae. They're, and that's what normally makes the corals brown or dark green or something like that. They provide the coral with up to 80 to 90 percent of their nutrition and everything is fine unless the temperature and the light levels get too high and then they actually stress out the corals. And so when that starts to happen, they start spitting them out. Yep. But they don't want to really get rid of all of them. They can take new ones up from the water column, but usually they tend to retain a few of these. So they produce these fluorescent pigments which shield both the, okay. the symbionts as well as the animal tissue from the sunlight. Yep. If they continue to be stressed out for a very long time, then they eventually turn white. Yep. They're still alive at that point, and depending on the temperature, they could last a few months that way, okay. or a few days if it's just too hot. Yep. But if it stays really, really hot for a long time, they, um, you know, they basically get sunburned and they start to starve to death.